Hey y'all, Lindsay here, back with the second segment in our Surya Namaskar Sun Salutation Breakdown series. Thank you so much for joining me in this. I love to really break down, and these are still, even at seven or five or ten minutes of pose, still so, so, um, just a drop in the bucket, just barely skimming the surface and what all is really involved with what particular musculature and joints and muscles um, and parts of the body acting in, in certain ways and um, then the energy of all of it. It's, um, it's a really deep practice, so that's why it's a lifelong one. So thanks for sharing even just these, spending these little minutes putting um, it all together in more detail with me. So. We started out in Tadasana in our um, sun salutation series, so now we're gonna work on the fold and the half fold. So, coming to your mountain pose that you've just done or that you've done before, grounding through your feet, standing tall, coming to your breath, root through the feet, soften the knees, slow float your arms overhead as you breathe in. Support your spine, front, back, and both sides, Continue to press through the feet as you stretch through the fingertips and then lead with your heart now with a straight back to fold. So typically for a straight back, a, a supported spine, and go ahead and lean on your knees here. It's helpful if you have a mirror or something to give you this biofeedback to get your back really straight and aligned. Typically we need a generous bend in the knees to achieve that, so give yourself that that leeway and you might even be up a bit higher here to really feel like your back is straight. Doesn't matter how far you fold. And now here's the cool thing, we can all access this practice so if it doesn't feel safe for you to take your head below your heart for a variety of reasons, there's a huge variety of reasons where it might not feel comfortable or safe for you to do that. This is your spinal decompression, tailbone tucks, belly in, chin tucks. And now just gently only bowing the head and lifting the hips just to comfort for you. So you can see where you can get a nice, even just this very gradual incline of the spine is decompressing from the really enormous effects of gravity working on us. So hanging here for a few breaths, feeling yourself draw in around the waist, so the belly is in, draw in around the whole core all the way around to support the spine, tailbone lengthens away, top of the head, not your forehead, but the top of your head stretches, so the spine is in a line as you breathe here, and even if you're leaning on your knees, it's not much weight, really the core of the low body is supporting this decompression of the spine. And of course, if you've practiced before, you might know this. If you're able to comfortably, safely, you can continue to bow the head and lift the hips to what feels like a safe edge for you. So we never want to go beyond our edge. We just want to find that edge, and it's different, of course, for all of us. And then we soften and breathe and allow ourselves to be supported here. So take a couple more breaths in your fold, whatever it looks like for you, and feed her hips distance at least, toes are stretched out and pointed straight ahead, squeeze and engage the legs and the core to support lengthening the spine. So especially if you're in a class that they're doing tons of sun salutations, you don't have to do this forward fold up and down so many times. You can really modify and cater it to your specific needs. So. On your half lift, you're going to lift halfway from wherever you are. And the forward fold is Uttanasana. Uttanasana is the Sanskrit for this forward fold. And then half fold is Ardha Uttanasana. So inhale, we'll lift you halfway from wherever you were. So if you're folded completely flat, maybe you go to about 90 degrees. Still knees can bend, but draw in around the waist. Legs are engaged. Spine is long for your halfway lift. Then press the hands against the legs to encourage the heart and rib cage to move forward. So this is where we come to the inhale, and you can do this a few times if it feels safe. Exhale to fold back down. So I'll show you the modified version here. Exhale is our fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to fold. And if you're able to go further without modifying, exhale to fold, and maybe hands reach the floor, maybe not. 
Traditionally, you would take hands outside the feet if you're able to access this. So folding on the exhale, then inhale, half lift. You might press against the legs. Some of you might have flexibility to use fingertips on the floor to draw the, encourage the heart forward as you inhale, and then exhale to fold. So it doesn't matter how far you're folding, it matters that you stay safe for you. Once more, perhaps inhale, back body strength. So wake up these back body muscles in the whole low back, middle back, upper back. Those muscles wake up to kind of pull you up. Draw in around the waist, half lift on your inhale, fold on your exhale. And you can soften the knees, straight back, look forward, inhale all the way back up. So super slow in that, make sure that you stay safe. Maybe exhale, hands to your heart or arms to your side. So now you know enough for half sun salutation. So a little treat here at the second, the end of this second segment video, half sun salutation is mountain pose, inhale to reach up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, lead with the heart, folding just comfort to you. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, Uttanasana to fold. Root to rise, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, either hands to the heart or arms to the sides. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me for this second segment. Drop any questions or concerns or whatever your experience was in your body. Um, if you have any, any questions, I would love to hear those and to help you along this journey. Peace.